Welcome to Problems and Solutions. Today we'll solve problem 69 of chapter 9 of Fundamentals of Physics. A small ball of mass m is aligned above a larger ball of mass 0.63 kg with a slight separation between both balls, as shown here in the figure. And the two are dropped simultaneously from a height of 1.8 meters. Assume that the radius of each ball is negligible relative to h. Item a. If the larger ball rebounds elastically from the floor and then the small ball rebounds elastically from the larger ball, what value of m, small m, results in the larger ball stopping when it collides with the small ball? What height does the small ball then reach? First, first of all, let's write the equation for the velocity before the collisions, immediately before the collisions. We can write that the, the energy, the potential energy of the larger ball will be m times g times h. And this equals the kinect energy immediately before the collision. As you can see, we can cancel the mass. Therefore, the velocity is independent of the mass. So, the velocity of the small ball will be the same. Both balls will have the velocity of the speed of square roots of 2 times g times h. This is the velocity immediately before the collisions. Ok, now let's write the equation of the energy conservation. So, we can write that the kinect energy immediately before the collisions will be a half of the mass of both, both balls multiplied by its velocities. This equals the kinect energy after the collisions, because we have, we have here elastic collisions, so the energy will be conserved during the collisions. So we have only the small ball will have velocity after the collisions. So we have here one equation that can we can use here we have after the collision, here we have before. And we can also use the conservation of momentum. We can al always use the conservation of momentum during collisions. So we can write. Here is important to note that the larger ball will rebound uh, after the collision with the, the floor. Therefore, the velocity of the, the larger ball we will be upwards and the velocity of the, the baseball, the small ball, will be downward. So we will have the mass of the larger ball multiplied by its velocity minus the velocity of the small ball multiplied by its velocity. And this is Im immediately before the collision between the balls and immediately after we have only the small ball going upward. So we have here a second equation. You have uh, here we have after the collision we have two equations and two unknowns: the velocity after the collision and also the mass of the small ball. Okay, now we can solve the problem. Item A. We want to know the mass of the small ball. 
so we can isolate the velocity after the collisions it will be the difference between the mass divided by the mass of the small ball multiplied by the velocity before the collisions and we can now substitute this velocity in the first equation so you have here we can cancel this two and you have the sum of the masses multiplied by the velocity before the collision is squared so 2 the age the velocity squared will be 2 times g times age and this equals the mass of the small ball multiplied by the velocity after the collisions squared that is here m plus oh, m minus m squared divided by the small mass squared multiplied by v the velocity squared that is 2 g 8 we can cancel this and also we can cancel this so we have the sum of the masses multiplied by m the small the mass of the small ball equals here we can compute this squared so we have the mass of the larger ball squared minus 2 the product of the masses plus m the, mall, the mass of the small ball is squared so we have m squared this equals we can copy this here and we cancel these terms and also we can cancel the mass of the larger ball here so we have m equals the larger m minus 2 the small m therefore the mass of the small ball will be the mass of the larger ball divided by 3 the mass of the larger ball is 0 0.63 therefore the mass of the small ball will be 0 0.21 kilograms simple this is the item A now let's solve the item B the item B what height does the small ball then reach? first let's compute the velocity after the collision the velocity after the collision will be v a equals 0 0.63 minus 0 0.21 divided by 0 0.21 and this multiplied by v v is the square root of 2 times g times h so square root of 2 times 9.81 times 1.8 and here we have the velocity after 
the collisions, the velocity of the small ball. This is important because if you have the velocity immediately after the collision, we can compute the height the ball will reach using con uh, energy conservation, of course. So let's compute this. Okay, so here we have 0 0.63 minus 0 0.21 divided by and multiplied by this term is the square root of here we have. Therefore, the velocity will be 11.9 meters per second. Now we can use energy conservation writing that the potential energy of the small ball here we have the final height of the small ball equals the kinect energy after the collisions therefore we can cancel this we want the height, so the height will be the velocity squared, 11.9 squared, divided by 2, multiplied by 9.81. Therefore, the height will be this term squared and divide by 2 times 9.81 ok 7.2 meters and that's it we have the mass and also we have the height therefore the problem is solved